portal paintings are and always have been very approachable but never bland. They look intriguing. You can see that even if you don't know anything about painting, that someone spent a long time actually physically creating this painting, but also the imagination behind it, creating this fascinating world that you want to be part of. I always enjoy the Hampstead Fair very much. It's, it's fun. Uh, it's on the heath, so you can go for a nice walk in between selling paintings. Clients love to visit, it's easy to get to, and there's a great selection of work. He always uses very kind of, um, they're kind of bold primary colours. These guys are kind of rolling away out to sea. They're definitely not going to church on Sunday because it's behind them. He is very fascinated by the use of white and white is never actually white. So we have greys, mauves, all kinds of different colours. They're really, really lovely still lives. We've got a very handsome Elizabethan fellow with his lovely ruff. Slightly echoed by the ice cream and the idea that it's a rather serious kind of portrait of the time, but there's a modern element in it. This is one of a series of pictures. This painting by Irvin Peacock is one of my favourite because it's so funny. What Irvin does is he cuts the face in half and paints both sides the same. So it gives the guy an extremely mad look. He also seems to have something in his hat, like the Mad Hatter. I think they're absolutely extraordinarily intriguing pictures. They're, they're like a, a, an interior of a Jacobean house where these children are up in the attic, kind of... Um, playing rather sinister games. I love this. It's very much a work in progress. I think they're not entirely just pictures of dogs. I think they're metaphors for human interaction. Which, if that doesn't sound pretentious, um, I think is present in all her pictures. So they're not just doggy pictures, I think they say a great deal more.